Hello and welcome everyone. This is Shivangi Dhawan. In today's video, we will be learning about leverages, and we will be solving a question through Excel application. In finance, leverage is a strategy that companies use to increase assets, cash flows, and returns. Though it can also magnify losses, there are two main types of leverage, or we can say three types of leverages are there. that is financial leverage operating leverage and combined leverage so to increase financial leverage a firm may borrow capital through issuing fixed income securities or by borrowing money directly from a lender operating leverage can be used to magnify the cash flows and returns and can be attained through increasing revenues or profit margins both methods are accompanied by risk such as insolvency but can be very beneficial to a business so when basically a uh, operating leverage arises due to the presence of fixed operating cost and financial leverage arises due to the presence of fixed financial charges like interest uh, like preference dividend so all that now there's a question where particular uh, information is given to us uh, for firm snp and we are required to calculate ol that is operating leverage financial leverage combined leverage and earning per share of the firm so in order to solve such questions we will be following the income statement that is sales less variable cost gives us contribution less fixed cost gives us ebit that is earning before interest and tax less interest gives us earning before tax or profit before tax less taxes gives us earnings after tax or profit after tax less preference dividend if given in the question gives us earnings available to equity shareholders and if we divide these earnings by number of equity shares we will get earning per share or eps so we will be following this statement in order to calculate ol fl cl and eps so for firm s sales are this 30000 units into 10 is the selling price so we have sales of rupees 3 lakh similarly for firm p sales are 36000 into 15 rupees per unit that is 5 lakh 40000 less variable cost will be again the number of units with the variable cost per unit that is 8 rupees and here 36000 units into again variable cost per unit that is 13 rupees now if we subtract variable cost from sales we get contribution margin so here we will be calculating our contribution margin like this then if we subtract fixed cost so fixed cost for firm s is gov given to us as 15000 and for firm p it is 20 it is 40000 okay now ebit will be contribution minus fixed cost here also we'll do the same stuff that is 72000 minus 40000 that is contribution minus fixed cost so we are getting this ebit so ebit for firm s is 45000 and for firm p it is 32000 then less interest interest in this case is 30000 and here in this case it is 26000 here earnings before taxes will be ebit minus interest here also it will be ebit minus interest right and then tax tax is 30% so 30% of tax will be this 0.3 into 15000 here it will be 0.3 that is 30% into 6000 
this is our tax so in order to get the earnings after tax or profit after tax it will be profit before tax minus the tax and here also it will be profit before tax minus the tax will give us the earnings after tax or profit after tax we don't have such any information about preference dividend so we are taking it as zero and therefore our earnings uh, available to equity shareholders are the same as our profit after tax okay now it is easy for us to calculate earning per share so here this 10500 divided by the number of equity shares for firm s is this enter so 2.1 is eps per share and for this earnings divided by number of shares that is 8000 and here it is 0.525 so 2.1 is the earning per share for firm s and 0.525 is the earning per share for firm p now we need to calculate ol fl and cl so for ol the formula is basically ol is calculated as contribution contribution divided by ebit right so here it is very easy to calculate contribution for uh, if we take it let's do it here so ol in this case for firm s will be contribution is 60000 divided by ebit is 45000 so 1.33 times is our ol and in this case again it will be contribution for oh, this contribution is 72000 divided by the ebit that is 32000 so we get 2.25 times is the ol for fl the formula for fl is here we can write the formula fl is equal to ebit divided by ebt or pbt right and if there is preference dividend dividend in the question then the formula varies and the formula will be in denominator it will be ebt minus preference dividend divided by one minus tax rate so here we have no preference dividend so our formula will be this simple that is is equal to ebit we know in this case it is 45000 divided by EBT it is 15,000 enter so three times is the financial leverage in case of firm S and for firm P it will be again EBIT that is 32,000 divided by the EBT that is 6,000 and enter this is 5.33 times is the FL. CL is very simple to calculate the formula for CL is the product of OL and FL. So OL into FL gives us the combined leverage, uh, which basically considers both the business risk and the financial risk. Or we can we can say that it considers both the fixed operating cost and fixed financial charges. So here CL will be this into this. So for four times and here also it will be this into this that is 12 so if you want to increase the uh, decimal places you can see it here it's it's completely 4 and for this it is completely 12 so this is your combined leverage and uh, here we complete our question where we were required to find out earning per share ol fl and cl i hope uh, it was easy to solve thank you so much for watching and you may like share comment and subscribe to my channel for more related videos thank you so much